14 teams, one overwhelming desire. Seven months of grueling competition, a trillion tries and a million bruises, but just as many smiles. A winter's worth of magic moments. That is unbelievable stuff! Rugby league at its brilliant best! A march towards history. An arrival at the NRL's Nirvana. I'm Laurie Daly and this is the tale of the 2001 Telstra Premiership. An incredible year for the greatest game of all that began and finished in much the same fashion. With Parramatta in action at Stadium Australia. Nothing illegal but shutting down the ball. Andrew, sideline. It's been quite surprising, Ray, these early uh, exchanges. The two bombs that Penrith have put up. Violecki down the side. Andrew coming back to you in a moment. Nathan Hindmarsh involved on two occasions. Drew away for Wesley. Wesley for Taylor. Taylor then for Hudson. Hudson away. Now it's Palace again. Inside the 30. It's gone to Ryan. Ryan away for Butner. Butner calls his winger inside. The ball is left behind. Picked up there by Ryan. He throws the ball wide. Hudson is there. Hudson, five metres out. He's over. Red Hudson scores. First try of the season. Taylor's there. Back of the way. Taylor for Ryan. Ryan for Ian Hindmarsh. He's inside 30. And here comes the support. Jason Taylor gets it away. And Hindmarsh backs up. Ian Hindmarsh. He gets the third try for Parramatta. Brilliant stuff by the Eels. Green, Rickardson, across through the legs, Minicello, beautiful football, he's able to pick it up and then put a kick on it and now it's been kicked again by Rickardson and Minicello is still there, well that is just absolutely amazing, that is beautiful stuff. Well I thought I saw some good tries scored in the earlier match by Parramatta but this is, this is just Outstanding. Brisbane this time to bring it out of their own territory and Lonnie to Fury goes straight through. And first comes Julian O'Neill in cover. Flying after him on the outside is Adam Connolly. He'll go all the way though and score. Lonnie to Fury goes in to score the try. Buttigieg plays the ball. Out wide to Paul Bowman. Bowman slips away from the tackle of Prince. Meters inside their own territory, Brisbane. Bad pass, which was slung by Shane Walker to nobody. Now again, oh, a pass, which Brisbane were able to pick up, and Brisbane will race away and score a try. That came out of nowhere to Chris Walker. It was a pass that could have just been intercepted so easily by North Queensland. They thought they had it. Chris Walker was able to snap on it and then race away. And up. By is still in there with Matt Geyer and Rorty. Poor pass from dummy half. Sherwin, another bad pass. Cost them plenty of metres and all the momentum. Patton turns it back on the inside of Vangana. Great ball! And there it is, Darren Smith crosses for the Bulldogs to get their first try of 2001. Marco Mealy on tackle number four, and they've just reached the 20. Walker running it back for Kamali. Sees a half break and he's through. Brett Kamali able to send his pass away to Brendan Reeves. Reeves away to Menzies. He's dived in from behind. Couldn't be pulled out by Tamana Tahu. And Steve Menzies scores the try. That makes it 10 all and a kick the gun. Brett Kamali didn't waste any time settling into the Eagles' nest as the North side has left Newcastle with a stunning success. With St George Illawarra winning at Shark Park and my old Canberra mates doing the same in Auckland, what a bizarre start to the comp we had. All seven away sides had come up trumps, something that hadn't happened since 1980. And that unusual trend continued in round two from the time that Newcastle edged out the Sydney Roosters. Long ball, finding Johns. Johns then for Rudder. Billy Peaton's over the line. Billy Peaton scores for the Knights. Played by Rickardson on the last and then Green. Green gets plenty of time to put the kick in. The jump is on. He's got it. He's got it. And he's put it down. Anthony Minatello. They've come through this all right. 
I think that was one of the things they wanted to answer tonight as Bailey gets a ball away. Oh, Davis is there. Oh, oh Davis lost the pass. It's Ryder. Ryder's in. Number two. Justin Ryder. Strong start. Morrison plays it. O'Neill's played on. well. I want to chip out and Ryan. Here's a chance. I want to try to half. I'm trying to half to Robert Ralph. I'm not sure whether the kick from Julian O'Neill was exactly what he meant, but it's turned into a magnificent four-pointer. Last tackle for the Dragons. Peters. Carlaw back. Bounces awkward. Straight to Wainsco. He'll score. Well, that was a wicked bounce for John Carlaw. Here's a chance. Barrett. On the outside to Hooky, Dummies inside, gets on the outside of Hopawane and scores a sensational try. The attacking team on this occasion is the Tigers. And they're in try scoring area. Kevin McGinnis back on the field. What a try! The ball came from Shane Walker and Kevin McGinnis has scored the try. The Tigers hit back. They're down by four. Tyron Smith from acting half. He's over! He scored the try. We're all level at the footy stadium with a kick to come. He's kicked it. Oh, slid well from sideline to sideline. Sherwin gives it off to Scott again. Standing there once again gets an offload. Here's Perry. Has Travis Norton with him. Looking to link up with Sherwin who backed up and will dive under the score under the post him very hard. Kalella. Oh, oh! Up inside the line. Kalella will keep going. Almost get there. He will get there. The theme of his halftime talk would have been just security. Hang on to the ball and see if we can get some repeat sets. And Nasta got the ball back to Mason. He slipped a great pass to Helen who scores for the first time as a bulldog. That is so far. And Brief okay, surgeon okay. in the first grade last year. He has all the ability. Travis Norton got a good bounce eventually. He puts it on the toe. And the Nasta will finish it off. He set one up and now he scores the try for the Bulldogs. Lower Titi. Ambles up the line. Then gave a pass to David Miles. Miles into space to Jason Deeth. Deeth turns it to Stacey Jones. Jones back on the outside to Swan. Then to Francis Mel Melly scores in the corner. Very, very good try. Just didn't quite know what to do. Melly now, TD gets a break to Stacey Jones. Jones running into open spaces. He's got black ball back on the inside. Doesn't need him. And the little wizard from Auckland, Stacey Jones, scores a brilliant individual try. It didn't take long for the Eagles to come back to earth as the New Zealanders notched a massive upset and showed that they weren't too keen on just making up the numbers. Once again, the away side prevailed, with the exception of Penrith at ANZ Stadium. After scraping home by a point at Parramatta, the Sharks went back home in Round 3 with the aim of making up for their opening debacle against the Dragons. For Jason Ferris to put the little chip over, for him to get involved and use his speed. Here's Brett Finch dancing and weaving, got through them, ran away from Campbell as well. They might not be able to pick him up, he fires a pass over the top, picked up by Shafovsky, and out of absolutely nothing, Brett Finch has created a try for the Raiders. Quick pass from Lang. Ferris away to Dykes, tries to get it over the top, he finds Mellor. Put it back to Colin Best. Swung to the ground. No, he wasn't. They will score the Sharks. A bit more about to come. Barrett very wide from the scrum. Peters finds him out there right over. Oh, Barrett's through. Trent Barrett has scored. Through Orford. It's gone out the hill. Beautiful ball. In for Kearney. Kearney for Orford. Orford 10 metres out. Begging for support. Finds Scott Hill. Hill goes over. Finds Marcus By. By goes for the corner. And he gets it over. Thanks, mate. 80-minute uh, 80 consistent performance. Already we've already seen evidence that that's not the case. Guy is through a gap for Melbourne. Got the winger with him. Brad Watts is away. Check. Watts will get his Check. second try. Check. Brad Watts scores for the Storm. Playing it back now for Sway. This is Orford. Orford goes himself. He's over. Orford's in to score for Melbourne. 
He'll play it on the last tackle for them. Nine minutes left in this first half. Kosev back out there. Good hands. Muir through King. Away to Beckett. Comes to Wesser. Fires it back on the inside for Jamie Goddard. And he'll run around to score behind the post. Goddard to Kamali. Kosef again, or oh, chance here if they hang on to it, they do. Magic fingers from King. Here's Kamali backing up on the inside. Beckett outside him, fires it to the winger. Tackled by Wesser, dragged across the line by the fullback. They're in again, the Eagles. Gower gives it to Jody Gall as the Panthers look to get a roll on. Good hands from Rodwell, picked it up. Now tries to skirt the traffic around the ruck. Here's Wesser again, running into open space. Has only Murphy to beat. Will try and take him on. Fends away from the fullback, and Wesser has a double. The Panthers are back from the dead. Ebrell looming up on his outside. Will play it at the halfway line. Tuvi back out there for the finale. Here's Kamali into space. Got away from Wesser. Slipped it back to Ben Walker. He got it to Sam Murphy. Ties this game up on his debut. Scores his first try. Well, I can't believe this game. Darren Britt, Leedy from the front half, three Polonauta, full back to beat, he doesn't do it, but backing up the general, and Luke Patton has scored a sensational drive. The crowd getting behind the dogs. Polonauta, Rahihi, still going, he's over the big fella, he scored the try. Where's Andrew Johns, what will he do? Passes to Kennedy, he's near the line, pops the ball, that try! Try and win What a rugby league try! The Bulldogs might have let victory slip away in their maiden appearance at the Sydney showgrounds, but the quality of football suggested that both sides would still be doing business come September. Three other clubs that did collect two points were the West Tigers, Sydney Roosters and Parramatta, and that set up a huge clash to kickstart round four of the Telstra Premiership. Big Roan went up from the Nova Castrians about the tackle. Oh, Davis into pivot, got the ball away to Rudder. Rudder cuts out Kennedy. He gets the ball back to Beaton. Beaton gives it away for the centre. He's over the line. Mark Hughes. Mark Hughes has scored. Badiris. Johns. Rudder. Cut out pass. And there's Tahu. Tahu's into the gap. He's looking for number two. He's going to make it as he is. Tahu's over. So that will count as an interchange for Parramatta. Repairs unable to be done on the ground. Oh, Davis kicks for Albert. Albert leads the race by a mile. Albert picks it up. Albert will score. Darren Albert has scored. Doing well. And there's a very interesting stat as Deep goes for a scamper and gets the ball out the back door. The Warriors, they've used up everyone on the bench, according to the rule book. But they're keeping the ball alive. Stacey Jones goes through, he's got support, Jones. He gives it to Torby. Torby gives it across, and in the corner, they have scored. Jones. Oh, great ball, and the Warriors away. Beetham puts the kick through, and coming through is Malley. He can't collect it, but Ivan Cleary will. And he will get another try. Craig Gower has a scoot from Dummy Hart. Then away to Reese Wesser. Wesser getting into space. He's confronted by Lees, but gets the ball down. Again, going to the short side. Now cutting back in field goes Jody Gorland onto Reese Wesser. Wesser will go in and score. 35 out from the storm line on the last tackle. They give it to Ferris, has Dykes outside him, grubbers for the 5-8, put it on the toe again, needs a bounce, Ferris came up with it, and this time they'll score! And it's Gaia. Kearney now, running a long way before he got to them, trouble on that left side for the Sharks, here's Orford, pushing away from the tackle of Campbell, stepped away from one more, trying to get away from that day. Orford has it from the scrum base. That will see it out. He beats them, looking for his second. Gave it away to Matt Geyer. He'll win the race to the line and will score as the siren sounds here at Colonial. What a way to bring up their first win at their new home ground. They keep working away. Well. And here's another interception by Anasta. 
He's away again. And again, Lenny Beckett's going to run him down. Bulldogs still going with it. They're going to make it again. And both set up by this young man, a master, losing the ball there. But Corey Hughes is able to take it on the bounce. Get the ball away for Bungana. El Masri's on his outside, unmarked. El Masri's on his way. They're over again. Kamali's pass away to Goddard. Another intercept. Bungana gets it back for a nest up. He kicks and there's a foot race on. And El Masri is winning the foot race. Now a nest up. A nest gets his own try. What a half. What a memorable 40 minutes. After Braith and Nasta carved up the Eagles, Rugby League hailed the birth of a bright new star. While another of the NRL's young guns in Craig Wing saved the Roosters from a second straight home defeat, and Brisbane struggled to overcome the tenacious Tigers. There was nothing sluggish about the Broncos' next outing though, as they swept aside one of the main threats of their crown at the start of round five. Terry across with Carlaw to shut him down. Now away from Andrew, bullet-like pass, it's on the ground. Oh, Davis is there. They've got Takiri on his own out there. Albert's over. Eight-point ball game. Bronco, 16, Newcastle, 8. Here's a break being made by Brisbane down the right side. And Walker, is it? He's made it. He's gone all the way. Well, he's been brewing up to doing something special. Pulled down by Bailey, who's on there, Julian Bailey. Now Sibin Asiva lays it back, and here's little Berrigan throwing it across. Talis picked it up. Now Hodges. Hodges got rid of Andrew Jones and puts it over the line. Tamali stands at first receiver. Walker outside him. Gave it off to Mule. Was almost through a hole there between Morley. Now he keeps it alive. Walker gets it back to Kamali. He gives it off to Evans. Great! Benetti gives it off to Green, who is standing very close to the advantage line. Fletcher dispensed with Kamali like a rag doll. Got it back to Fittler. He will score. The captain goes over. A great opening to the game. The pass for Menzies. Toby straight through them has Kamali in support. And the halfback will score under the post with what might be the match winner for the Eagles. The tackle was made by Torrance. Hegarty to Green, cut out ball to Rickardson, now to Fittler, to Phillips, three on two, he gives it the cross, tunnel ball to Minichello and the Roosters are alive at Brookdale. Travis Norton playing it on five, they are on the 20 metre line, they go inside it, a nice pass finding Vangana, inside ball Scott, oh a Nesta catch and pass and in goes Corey Hughes, that was beautiful stuff. The old warrior of the football, the old warrior of the forwards is usually giving a little bit of a start to the younger fellas, but we feel like a two-year-old out there with Presley coming off the bench. Beautiful passing. Darren Smith gets it back. Here's Vangana. Vangana gets it away. Then it goes for Manasta. It's play on. It's gone to Sherwin. No, it's not. It's Howland. Howland gets the try. It is a try for the dog. 30 out from the line. Croker. Payton. Arms free, can he get it? He's looking, now he offloads to Finch. Here's a chance, the Raiders. Finch puts the foot down. A great ball on the outside to Ryan O'Hara, and he scored the try. Last tackle for the Dragons. They come the blind side. Hooper with a kick. Off feet of Finch. Looking for Lolisi. There's Vaynercolo. He's away. They won't catch him. Plenty of luck, but luck's a fortune as Leslie has his second dive of the afternoon. 19 metres out, Jason Taylor, the kick across towards Pat Richards' wing, Richards bats it back in for Michael Butler, it worked an absolute treat! Now he was coming up in support, may have just been hindered as he tried to come up in support as well, here's Jones, now to Guttenbeel, back to Stacey Jones, great pass Guttenbeel, then away to Francis Melly. Melly going himself for Mitchell and will go over and score! Sears away from dummy half. To Black, Dummies pushed away from Curdy's tackle. Comes to Robbie Ross. He stepped the fullback. Now they're chasing him. A pass across the top to John Simon. The Tigers are on fire. Comes back.
back to Swain and now Orford. Gives it off to Lavia. Good pass to Lange. Got on the outside of Craigie for a second. Pass it back on the inside for Orford. Steps in some traffic. Gets it away. It came back to Matt Rua. He keeps it alive as O'Farrell puts the speed on now. Gives it away to Richard Swain and they're in under the pace. 15 out from this storm try line. Hopawati again going to dummy half. Passes himself as a perhaps hooker to be as well a second rower. He gave it to Walker in measure. Through black to Simon. Great attack from the Tigers. Owen Craigie in the second minute of the second half. Just poured through a gap. Once again, the Tigers showed just how much they love playing at Leichhardt by racking up 40 against Melbourne. While both Parramatta and the Sharks had to work a fair bit harder than that to earn their victories at home. And after four straight losses, the Dragons found themselves under enormous pressure to get back on track in round six against the unpredictable Northern Eagles. Major injury problems for the last two or three seasons, but a real talent if he can put some football together. He had a scare early in the season again this year. He was worried that it might be another season by the bye as Peters is through for the Dragons. He's shown in the night, Willie Peters, and famous Amos Roberts in support will score the tie for the Dragons. Almost not quite good enough. 40 to 12. It's 142 points now in four weeks, and there's still time to go as Gazia. Here they come again, the red and whites. Here they come. The Dragons come marching in with Willie Peters. Four tackles gone. Dykes gives it to Colin Best. He got it back to Peachy. Richardson close to the line, stepping in behind them, playing it down. And the Sharks lead by six. Looked as though he'd broken the line. Prince, give it back to Dykes. Here's Ferris now, sending one away from his halfback position. Best turns it back for Richardson. He sees daylight and will run over and score the knockout blow for the Sharks. Back near their own 30. Played back by Damian Smith. O'Neill. Through Bowman. They have an overlap to Carl Warren. Easily got inside Hopawade. Got away from Lowry. Gets away from Sears. Brings it inside to Julian O'Neill. He's got Nathan Fingin with him if he needs it. He doesn't need it. He's in the score. Simon. In front, John Scandalis. Just kicking, looking to regain. Did so Matt Sears. Got it back to Ben Black. This is the try they won on the Tigers. Looking very dangerous again this afternoon. Almost away again there. Now Rudder fires another long pass. He finds Ryder pouring downfield. They must score. It's a carbon copy of the first try. Peden will stroll across with hardly a storm player within 25 metres of him. The short plays. Attack the edge. Johns, they attack the edge of the ruck. Hughes is stepping out of tackles. Mill trying to track him down. He puts a kick in for Ben Kennedy. He fires it back to Johns. He pushes away from them and will reach out and score a try himself. In the hands there of Hood. Plays it back. Here's Green. Flannery. Cross. Back to Cusack. Fittler steps inside one. The general misses him. And Brad Fittler scores a sensational individual try. Can't get away there from Willie Tallow. Ryan Cross now. Straight up the middle. He's going to score, Ryan Cross. That's a tied defensive line from the Bulldogs. And Ryan Scro Cross has scored a very good try. And that is the ball game. The Roosters returned to their brilliant best against the Doggies and the NRL's last unbeaten record went tumbling. But for my money, the best result of the weekend came when Canberra snared its second major scalp in a row. And I didn't mind seeing the Warriors shock Brisbane either because it was good for both the competition itself and the health of league in New Zealand. But of course, it didn't take long for the champions to bounce back like they always do. Fifth tackle for Brisbane. Right on halfway. Man in position to kick his prints. It's a short kick. Walker was there. Fields the ball. We'll come back to see if he's onside. Burns then passes. Try on offer out wide for Wendell. They won't stop him. Wendell scores. Harrison for Lockyer. 45 from the Bulldogs line. Keep it going, writes the call. Kelly's pass. That's gone forward to Sailor. The touch judge has said it's OK. And Sailor's going to run away to score. And you can't refer it back to the video referee. 
Taylor gets his second. That is his seventh in three games against the Bulldogs. <laughs> Brad Myers. I think he's recovered all. He may have picked up another one. Oh, he's done a rabbit. Yeah, I'm a good doctor. Here's the pass from Devere. Passing for Walker. The two centres combining. Taylor may chase a hat-trick here. Passes back inside for Walker. Walker's away for a double. More celebrations for Brisbane. That completes the night. Walker puts on a show. Takes it up and will play it back to Badiris. who goes from dummy half. Looking to find a hole. Got a good pass away to Simpson. On the back up, Andrew Johns. They have hit back as quickly as that. Campion waits at dummy half. Noted Jones again, grubbing for himself. He'll get the ball back. Got a pass back to Cleary. He won't have the speed to outpace them. Find a pass over the top to Miles. He'll get it to Francis Nelly, who got there to score for the Warriors. And they have it. And it's Hughes who will play it. Johns. Is it away to McDougall? Well contained in the first half, but he's away here to open up the second half. Harpe can't go with him for pace. Ryder is looming up. McDougall won't need him. From inside their own 20. It's very strong. Kalis bouncing away, still going. Back to the wagon. Well juggled there. And that was Ian Hindmarsh. Back to Buchner. Now to Jamie Lyon. Draws the winger. Out to Richards. Full back to Beats. The support on the inside. Gets past Guyer. Back to Hodson. Still going. It's with Irvine. Now he gets it back to Lyon. Back to Richards. And what a try. The Parramatta Reels are over in the corner. Sensational rugby league at the Parramatta Stadium. But will they have the petrol in the tank? Wagon. Here's another try coming for the Eels. Inside PJ Mark. Doesn't need him. His guy falls over. And the Eels have scored two in two. And they may have the two competition points in their keeping at the moment, the Eels. But they'll know it for a few days. They've been in their game. Here goes Hindmarsh. They're over again, are they, the Eels here? Back on the inside. Taylor will get a double. But they lost five metres because of that on the four. Now cutting back in field goes Craig Smith and does well to unload to Willie Peters. Has the ball knocked out of his grasp. Play on, six tackles to go. Quickly away across field. It'll go to Mark Gasney. They won't need the six to Jamie Ames go and he will score. Almost a halfway, Riddell. Trent Barrett quickly along the line to Amos Roberts. He simply got too much pace for Shepard. He could have gone inside or outside. He goes inside to Willie Peters and he scores. Fifth tackle for the Sharks. Ferris through the hands. And it's Dykes. Steps off his left twice. He beats two men. He beats a third man. That was Asimus. Now he kicks off the left foot. He's gone over to Campbell. Campbell's going well. Best is going down the line. Best is in to score. That is one of the great tries. That is one of the super tries of the year. Colin Best has scored. One of the best bombing sides in the league. Will they do it? They've gone to the hands and they've gone to the second receiver. Preston Campbell comes up in the centre of the play. Murray gets it away for BD. BD's down to the 10 metre line. Got a ball away for Campbell. Campbell for Colin Best. And they won't deny him this time. Best goes in to score. It's another cracker of a try. They are putting some tremendous tries together, the Sharks. The Sharks it weren't the only ones down. to enjoy April Fool's Day because the West Tigers' two-point defeat of Canberra helped ease the pain of a traumatic week in which John Hoppawati, Craig Field and Kevin McGuinness all received lengthy suspensions for serious offences. But while the NRL was having plenty of off-field dramas, the football itself was nothing short of sensational, as we saw the Warriors score three tries in the last five minutes to draw with the Doggies in Wellington. Jones again. Uses the little grubber kick, Stacey Jones, but Luke Patton, oh, brilliantly taken, Luke Patton. Clinton Torpy lost his footing, and Patton was able to get around him, and the general will go all the way and score. Terrific try, great anticipation by Luke Patton. Nat Wood, Wood kicks ahead, and is able to regain Nat Wood, fires a pass for Henry Farfeely, Farfeely is over. Stacey Jones kicks ahead. Going to be claimed by Francis Melly. Melly's got David Miles with him. He won't need him. I don't think he won't. He's got a wide score. Under the post goes Francis Melly. Justin Morgan. Morgan goes into open spaces. Morgan able to get his pass away. Spreading away is not a Tony. Into Torpy. He'll go in and score.
Here's Wesley. Good ball, Butner. Dummies through the tackle of Bowman. Numbers on the inside. Must score, surely. It goes to PJ Marsh. O'Neill won't have the pace. And PJ Marsh has scored an important try just before the half-time break. Buttergeek. Buttergeek straight through. Hodson to beat. The front row is over for a try. Webke. Straight forward. Now it goes back to Frittis. Keeping it alive. Into yawning space. Berrigan. He'll get number two. It all came from a Shane Webke run. And the Panthers have come up with the right game plan to attack down that right-hand side. Here's Roberts. A good ball to Hawkey. Throws it back on the inside. But Blacklock Gurdler missed him. And Blacklock will skip across the line for number two. Peters. Fire a pass to Barrett. It's a nice ball to Thompson. He was on the outside of Holbrook and will crush him. He just got across. It was too easy. This game is very much alive. Croker, fifth tackle. Puts the pass out. Quick hands from Finch to Walford. Croker wraps around. Still 15 out for Payton. Then for DeVico. And the door opens wide. And then he passes for McFadden. Scintillating rugby league from Canberra. Coming up over the top there from Finch in defence. Peden back for Andrew Johns. He's 15 away, runs it to the line. Here's the chance for the Knights. Kennedy, Kennedy slams it down. So from the restart, they decide for a kick for the line, which is out of the, the fall. fall. Can you believe oh, that no. from Finch? Can you believe that? That is an unbelievable restart. That is incredible. Johns with a kick to win the match. Off the boot, successful. As it travelled between the uprights, the siren sounded, and Newcastle have come out of that with a victory. And the young Brett Finch, it was a moment he'd rather forget. But it's all part of Rugby League's learning curve. And everyone agreed that he'd be strong enough to bounce back, which is what the Roosters did against Cronulla after trailing 13-0 at half-time. The next assignment for Freddie and the boys was one they'd waited almost eight months for, the chance to avenge their grand final defeat to the Brisbane Broncos. Second man play, the winner will score! Roosters, Hegarty! Two metres up, wing to dummy half. Now for Fletcher. Fletcher and Fittler, Fittler's over! Now for Fletcher, Fletcher cuts out Fittler. High ball, well taken, Rickardson. Inside ball! Over they go, I think that's Morley. Fritis sweeping it along, Berrigan, Tallers, Berrigan, the run around, they've made the extra man. Walker now being shown the sideline, back inside for Saylor, Wendell scores. Kamorley with a little chip, he'll get the rebound. Nice ball, Brendan Rees, what a try this is going to be, and you can put it down to Brett Kamorley, the chip and regather, but what about the pass? Marinara plays it, here's Orford Hill, chance again, Dyer, back to Williams, now back to Orford, Powell, run around with Orford, they're going backwards though to score, now he goes forward, under a high tackle from Walker, Walker comes again, but he got it free for Russell Bowden, who scored the try! Orford, here's Guy Hill, under pressure away there to Aaron Mule, away from Reeves, he's got the hat trick! through flimsy defence and the stormer in again. Swappy play the ball. And it comes to PJ Marsh. Yawning gap straight through. Full back to beat. There's Butner. He'll go for the corner. He'll have the pace and the Eels score with their first touch of the football. He had to stay out of play. Unless he, if he didn't, he'd be penalised. Jason Chaos. Uploads back to PJ Marsh. He accelerates, beats one, still going, back to line, basketball pass over to Butner, keeps it alive to Hodson, six to go, try. Counting it back up towards the halfway line. Payton, his partner in crime, the ball back on the inside for Finch and away to Alan Tung. He keeps it alive, it comes back to Zhefovsky, he gives it off to Ruben Wicke, back to Jason Croker, here it comes back to Zhefovsky. He's got support as well. Back to Ruben Wicky. He's got Shane Kelly in. It's a great try to the Raiders. As soon as his chances of picking up those points as well might be lean. Zafowski. 
getting away from them. They're opening them up suddenly. He comes with a fullback, turns Trent Lees inside out and might have the pace to go all the way. He will! Through from Dyke. It is now with Stewart. Throws the dummy. Rudder makes the tackle. Richardson gets the ball and passes it for Best. Colin Best is away. Colin Best will run to beat. He comes back towards the traffic. Now he finds Mellor. Mellor's big. Mellor's over. Mellor scores for the Sharks. 15 now. The dearest for John. John. He finds Rudder. Rudder gets it away. Rudder gets it back on the inside. And Tahu. Yeah, Richie's out there. And uh, he's One replaced three. Ali Lal Titi. Richie moving into the forwards. And... Uh, Hang on, Tia. Here goes Murphy. He's in the side for pace, and he's got plenty of it. Look at him go. He outpaces Reese Wesser, and this is a carve-up. Certainly the fans are thinking that way. 46-8. Can they get the half century? Jones, he wants it, and he gives it to Torpy. Ah, oh, the pass to Murphy is OK. On the inside, is there support? Yes, there is Jones. Big loopy pass across to Cleary. Cleary now, not sure if he's got the legs, but he's got support. Francis Malley for 50. He's over. That Easter Monday massacre highlighted just how much the Panthers had slipped after being finalists the year before and had people asking if Rugby League sleeping giant had finally awoken across the Tasman. Things were much closer at Campbelltown where the West Tigers almost got the better of the Bulldogs, but it got even tighter in round 10 when the Blue and Whites tackled their old enemies in blue and gold. Two metres out from their own line as Irvine comes back into the game. And he got a ricochet off Jamie Lyon. Lyon's going down the touchline. Puts a kick into the centre. Off the boot again. They're there. Parramatta's over. Parramatta. Protecting a two-point lead. Charge down. The dogs are going to charge. Feeney. Feeney. He'll make it. Feeney's over. Off a charge down to Must the 10-meter right. line. Got to go the other way. They've gone the wrong way, no doubt. Marsh. Now it's by oh. He gets it away. They're over. Parramatta's in. Treaster and now Pierce. Offloads again. Dykes. Dummy in. Dykes got through. Here's the line break, and it's going to be the first try of the match. Dykes, a little bit of brilliance there from Adam Dykes. Dykes on the left foot, nudging it down into the corner, sending Fahashili back there. He's in his own in goal. Can he get out of there? Oh, wild pass. Webke certainly was uh, was helping him to drop that ball. But uh, look, as Lazo said, it's a grey area. But I, oh. Michael Devere, Devere getting away. He's got a lot of space, a lot of speed, and he's over Michael Devere to score. Prudis again comes to the short side to Harrison, then to Sailor, on to Chris Walker. Walker goes into a yawning gap. He's got a ton of pace. They won't touch him. Scores underneath the post, Chris Walker. He is lightning with a capital L. His leg hit the head of Bowden there. And he's in trouble with an ankle injury. Orford, or maybe his leg, he could be in serious trouble. He's waving. Now the ball is kept in play by Marcus Boy, and what a try! I thought it was only a matter of time before the Roosters considered another one. Here's a chance now for the Roosters. Minicello into open space. Full back to beat on the halfway line. Through Geyer in support. Rickardson. Will he have the pace? Yes, he will. And the Roosters have hit back with a try to Luke Rickardson. And he's going at 100 miles an hour. And ran into a brick wall. Logan back on the field. And he's hit solidly straight up. Now they keep it alive. Good work, the Roosters. Crocker. Great hands. Rickardson doesn't have the pace. Gives it to Minicello. He does. Full back to beat inside. Here's a try. And what a try it is to the Roosters. Paul Green levels it up. They Three might. to go. Where's Paul Green? It goes to him. Perinara comes through. It's not a bad kick. It's there. He's kicked it. Paul Green has kicked the field goal for the Sydney Roosters. And they're in front by a point. Dearest, they're 45 away. Rudder, cutout ball for McDougal. Puts another test on Murphy. Got away from him, got away from Smith. McDougal will go all the way to score for the Knights.
Johns has just drifted around to the right side and with the ball and kicks back towards the uprights. Great kick. Mark Hughes, oh, that's too easy. 40 now away from the Tigers line. Badiris inside for Johns. Here they go through the centre. Kennedy's there. Caught a forward pass to Badiris. Not called. That's a tie to Newcastle. Tough day at the office here for the West Tigers as the home side piled on the points with their usual dash of flair. Elsewhere, the Northern Eagles took two points from Cairns and Penrith beat Canberra by the same score as the 91 grand final, although we won't dwell on that one. Instead, let's absorb the highlights of round 11, which began with Brisbane outclassing the Sharks. His name won't surprise if it comes out on Sunday. Berrigan across for Devere. Inside ball for Takiri. And Takiri got over Sean Ryan, put the ball over the line. That'll be a try. Frutus, Tallis back on the inside, then a hand down for Webke, Webke away for Lockyer, out, Lockyer's in the space, he's over the line, put the numbers in the frame. Here's Medeiros, comes to Rudder, can't have ball, no one wasn't, Gidley, on the playback and comes to Albert, he scores the night second. Well, I can tell you Warren Johnson's no good, he's coming from the field right now. Tahu's okay though, he got away. Attack so swift for the Newcastle Knights. This is a big scoreline facing the Dragons now. Now Jones back on the inside to Deeth. He's lost it. Went backwards, I think, to Cleary. He got the arms free back to Jones. Grabbed by the jumper. Villasani on the field. Now he's over up to the 20. The pass comes to Mealy. Back on the inside to Miles. Back to Mealy. And the Warriors take it round and improve the position to make it easier for Ivan Cleary but the Warriors have hit back. And we're very fortunate there the Warriors that that obstruction that wasn't picked up didn't prove costly. Tony straight through inside from Billy. He's got the ball and he'll race away and score. Well what to Tony has broken the defensive line again. Here is how Ooh, Adamson was up to build him. He got the pass away to Warford though. Bowden backing up, did beautifully to get his hands to it. He fired it back to Richie Swain. A real chance in the right-hand side here for the Melbourne Storm, and there it is with Stephen Bell. He'll beat Wesson to the line. Here's Orford, fires a good flat pass, and it's Rua bursting through into open space. He got it back to Kearney. He's standing, looking for support. He finds Rua again. He's got Marcus by in support. He doesn't need him. Oh, what a performance by Matt Rua. Through to Simon. Here's the kick. And God, gee, I thought there was going to be an almighty clash. Moody goes down the left side, comes to Kane, beats Kane. Uh, Carlos coming across the field, but Moody will make it. Moody goes there. That's good refereeing. So Butner goes across for Hodgson into his back line before Wagon tries to get Moody onto his outside. Oh, great work, Moody. Wagon even better. Hodgson will make it to the corner. Red Hodgson's in to score. This ground has seen some wonderful moments. As Taylor chips. butner has got a chance. He got a bat on it. Ryan was there. Great athleticism. Now Mars. Oh, the Yields are running hot. Taylor gone, Jason. Have one yourself. Taylor shouts for the bar. With 66 points to their name, it was Parramatta's highest ever score. And what a day at the office for Jason Taylor, who contributed 11 goals and a try. It was a bittersweet weekend for Newcastle, however, who derived little pleasure from their win over St George Illawarra after learning that Andrew Johns would be missing for some two months with a knee injury. Joey's mishap also denied him State of Origin selection, and the Blues could have done with his presence when they were savage in the opening game at Suncorp Stadium, 34-16. After a week's break from Origin, Club Footy resumed with the Bulldogs out muscling the Sharks in round 12. Then Corey, and now it's with Sherwin. Sherwin, the second man play out wide. Four, Stephen Hughes. Glenn Hughes it is. Now Patton. Patton's under the post. Ferris, back for Dykes. Dykes, ah, oh, surely now. Surely now. Yes, they're there. 
effort. And back to Finch. Changes tack and he comes back to his left hand side under all sorts of pressure here from Harrison on the last tackle. Had to flip it out the back now. Shafoski straight through the middle of them. Comes to Lockyer. He has support with Croker. Turns it back to Reuben Wiggy. Oh, what a try! What a dive from Reuben! Lockyer again at first receiver. Goes through Prince. Away to Chris Walker. Bayer Colo can't catch him. He's carrying his shoulder. And Prentice is there in support as well as Darren Lockyer. Over the top. Madison oh. around the legs. Badiris from acting half. Back to Rudder. He offloads to Tamana Tahu. Stepping, weaving, jinking, going. He'll score the try, Willie. How did he get through there? Tamana Tahu. It's a miracle. We're off around the legs. The Knights on the attack again. Padiris. Great ball there to Rudder into open space. Kennedy on his inside. And the Knights have made the Cowboys pay yet again. Oh. From Musprat, who makes a very good ball and all tackle. Padiris. Here's Gidley. Rudder. Now Perry straight up the middle. Pushing away. Still going to be number 11. Simpson it was. Scored. Benetti for Green. Fittler will look to get something started on the last, but Hegarty puts the kick through. Deflection off Blacklock. Bounce comes up. Oh, this is going to be some sort of try for the Roosters. Outs of luck in it. Last line of defence holds them up. Craig Wing with Green. Then Flannery. They came up quickly on the outside. Now for Singh. Pressure on here. Inside for Minicello. And Minicello helps himself to a four-pointer. So they hang on again, the Dragons. And every time there's been a close call, it's only taken a minute or two to bounce back with one of their own. And Smith goes through. Up to the 30-metre line. Bumps his way over the top of Flannery. Then Fitzgerald. Now Peters. Willie Peters gets to the tie line. I mean, the touch judge is looking at the back of Matt Singh there, and Clark was looking front on. I think he was entitled to make the decision. Fittler. Passes there for Fitzgibbon. Now for Hegarty. Hegarty looks for the try line. What a pass for Fitzgibbon. Top shelf pass from Shannon Hegarty. So it's another a... NRL nail biter ends in a draw. One of two on that weekend. While Penrith denied fellow strugglers West and Parramatta defied the Northern Eagles. Back on home soil, the Eels were an even tougher proposition as Sydney discovered at the beginning of round 13. Eastern side of the ground. They come back now for Solomona. Solomona, fresh man on. Wagon, then Kalis. Now, Hindmarsh. Now, by looking. Hellman again. Hellman is over. Now, Drew. Solomona. Beautiful ball. Nathan Hindmarsh. He's away. He's over. Nathan Hindmarsh. Surely they can't survive again, the Raiders. The storm through Hill, they must score here, Robbie Ross. If he gets it out to Gaia, comes back in, gets it over to oh, yeah. Perinara, long ball. Gaia's unmarked. Will he go for the corner? Comes back inside and scores his second try of the afternoon, Matty Gaia. And is that it for the Raiders early in the second half? Wait for it, wait for it. Ruben Wiki offloads back to Finch, who throws the dummy into open space. Where's the support? McClendon was inside. Outside to Lolisi. Guy to beat. Does so. Back to Croker. Will Croker get it down? Yes, he does. Great try, the Canberra Raiders. Now Finch is into open space. They're carving them up. Here's another try. McClendon, has he got the pace? No. Back on the inside to Lolisi. Back to McClendon. They must score. They've got the numbers. Croker back to Tongue. And they've scored the try. But they may have paid a heavy price. He plays the ball, tackled by Jamie Feeney, but the dogs are having trouble. They're really on the back foot now. Here they go for the corner. Roberts is on his way. The Dragons full back. Amos Roberts puts it over. On the fringe of the ruck, the Dragons are starting to run amok. There's Thompson running onto a beautiful pass. Thompson turns it back inside. End again, and Blacklock. Blacklock gets another four-pointer. Good metres from quick play the balls as Barrett. Nice ball to Blacklock. One on one. Blacklock then. Him. The referee didn't help by General Patton and Blacklock goes away to score. Paul the Zolt. Into open spaces goes the Zolt. He's got a bit of pace. Looks for support in Chris Muckett. Quickly turns it back inside. Now it comes to Nathan Feeney. Oh, that's an excellent try. 40 metres.
Peters out is where he plays the ball. O'Neill goes to the blind side. He's got Morrison with him. Lovely pass from Julian O'Neill. He gets the ball to Tony and skips him. Off the left foot and will score again, Morrison. Fee. Doyle. Bowman. Got away from Chontaine Harvey's high tackle. Still going. Paul Bowman. Stepped away from Trinidad Torpy and will score. Oh, some feeble defence. Just outside the Eagles 20. Wayne Bennett say to them at half time and will it inspire something? Here they are straight away. Harrison goes through them. What? We can't afford to let the Broncos score again here, the Eagles. Might be just about enough for them if they could get across the line again. Prince gives it off to Chris Walker. Gets around the outside of Andrew King, stepping all the time and gets past Reeves as well. Once again, it was pretty simple stuff. Walker celebrates as only he can. The Premier's paid a huge price for that victory over the Eagles because Gordon Tallis sustained a neck injury that not only put him out for the season, but threatened to end his great career. In other matches, the West Tigers surprisingly stared a draw with Cronulla and Newcastle outpointed Penrith. So at the halfway mark of the 2001 Telstra Premiership, the Knights had their noses in front with Brisbane, Parramatta and the Bulldogs also well placed. However, one side struggling for consistency was St George Illawarra and they vowed to knuckle down the competition's back half. 35 metres out from the line. Ferris, Campbell, catch, kick and Colin Best, Colin Best, he's over the line for a try. Southeastern corner of the stadium. Bartram's pass, finding Peters, Peters for Barrett. Barrett, away from McGregor, he's in a big hole, McGregor's over! Tackled near the halfway line, the Sharks leading by four, and Mellor got around the outside of the halfback, support on the inside, and Moston goes down there to score. Two metres out from the line, Thompson, back it comes for Barrett, Barrett for Blacklock, he'll score! Blacklock gets number right. two! Oh, what a combination. Barrett and Blacklock, and the Dragons will draw the game. Kamali, Walker, now McDougall, ball there to Robert Miles, back on the inside to Everill. He turned 22 yesterday. Today he scored a try, which could level the game. And they've never lost a game, the Northern Eagles, with Stephen Clark as referee. Here's Kamali into space. Reeves, Muir on his inside. He's got the ball. He won't have the pace. He gets the ball away. How did he do that to Ben Walker? That's a miracle. Last tackle. Gidley going to run it. Kennedy. Hughes. Now he kicks. Inside for Kennedy. Back to Tamana Tahu for the corner. Off an eagle player. Back to Kennedy. That should be play on. He improves the position. From touch. He's going to hit the upright and the crossbar. I don't believe what I've seen. I do not believe what I've seen. An awkward bounce for both players. Ryan. Butner did well. Then it's away from Hindmarsh. Here's Lyon, the centre. He puts on a sprint. He opens it up. He's going for it. He's got it. As Drew puts a little kick in, fullback is deep, that's Wesser. Drew gets it back, Drew gets it away, Sullivan is running, coming up as Violecki, Hudson gets it away, Taylor looks for the line, Taylor's in, Taylor's over, what a good try. Long pass for Shane Walker, over the head of Myers, then to Chris Walker, Walker looking to get around Morrison. Throws a basketball pass to Wendell Saylor. Saylor going back in field, sees a half opening, turns it away then to Carlo, who gets oh. it away to Winky. Oh, he's in for number two. Be happy with what he's seen as the practice run on the way in. Ashley Harrison unloading for Corey Parker, who does well to get it back to Carlo. Then it comes away to Prince, then on to Dakiri. He's got the veer on his outside, steps on the pace inside to Lottie Dakiri. Dakiri heads towards the post, he'll score. Oh, that is an excellent Brisbane try. While well, the Broncos clocked up the half century, New Zealand showed they could win on the other side of the Tasman. The Bulldogs kept Melbourne at bay and the Roosters made hard work of the West Tigers. A week later, Freddie took his teammates up the Pacific Highway and returned with a valuable victory. Green, 
to the short side. Fitzgibbon again. Then wing. Swerving. Passing. Pongia. He's over the line. Are they about to put the last nail there? Fiddler. Fitzgibbon. He'll go in, Flannery. McClendon. Comes back to Ruben Wickley. Wrapping around to the blind side. Bounced away from a couple of players. It's an offloaded way as well to Nagus. Tries to hold off Mason. Here's McClendon. Got the ball back to Manuel. He can't beat Sherwin, but McClendon can. What a try by the Raiders. They work the short side. Oh, a chance down that left-hand side for a second before Reedon made the tackle. Here is McFadden to Finch. Got away from Mason. Back to McClendon again. Who's running at will now. Gives it back to McFadden. Oh, great try by the Raiders. On the ground, in the end goal. Lockie is back there. And he throws the ball to Sailor. How about that for confidence? And Wendell's going to go 100 metres and score a great rugby league try. Talk about confidence from Darren Lockyer. And they will not catch Wendell Sailor. And the Broncos can do that to you. Defence Gerber in there as well. Here's the last for Brisbane. Lockyer under pressure. Here's danger for Penrith though. Because he can turn that into an attack. Here's a try, surely coming from Brisbane. Devere, only the fullback to beat. They're queuing up. Devere will go himself back inside to Dakiri, and they score the try. Well, that's not fair. Geez, they're hard to keep up with. Wagons back in the pack. Beat in the second row. <laughs> and here's Luke Burt playing in the centres, fending off with one arm. Oh, what a ball! What a ball from Burt! That's the Burt ball! What a ball! Ho, ho, ho! Bert and Andrew Ryan putting David Vialecki down the left touch line. Vialecki with a long run, support on his inside, can't get the ball to them. Now he can. Luke Bird is there. Gallon's after him. Bird and Gallon, Gallon and Bird. Bird put it over the line. Luke Bird. He gets his own try. Positive from Dr. Maloof, the Sharks doctor. He doesn't believe the injury is serious, but wants Jason to go off the hospital just as a precaution. And Nathan Hindmarsh is paramount to make another bus with Vialecki. Vialecki inside for Hodgson. He's got the target. He's got the target inside and he puts it down under the black dot. Fast play the ball. Withers again. Simon bypasses centre. Gives it to Bradley Galilawa. Got it to Kofusi. They're in again, the Tigers. Dragons have got the ball. I'm still not sure the ball didn't scrape across the crossbar. There wasn't much in it. It was a Craig Polamata job from 1998 against the Eels. Here's Nathan Blacklock down the sideline. Chipping over the top of Joel Kane. Got a red service bounce to win the game for the Dragons and book himself a New South Wales Blues origin jumper. What a try by Nathan Blacklock. That's his hat-trick today, and that might be the sealer for a New South Wales spot. Fantastic effort. For the umpteenth time, Nathan Blacklock showed why he's the code's finest finisher by saving Saints Bacon at Leichhardt Oval. And in the other match, New Zealand came from behind to snatch a controversial verdict against the luckless Eagles. After another week's break for Origin Game 2, which saw New South Wales square the series at Stadium Australia, Round 16 arrived with a match billed as a grand final preview. And he's tackled on the 20 metre line. Yes, yeah, a long with Brett Hodge missing from this Parramatta side. Scott Clean break. straight up the centre. Clean break. Donald it is who comes to the fullback and is starting to, I was about to say, leave him behind, but Lockyer had something. Lockyer had something left and made the tackle. Now Taylor. Taylor pushes it. Drew is out very wide. Lofted ball. Vialecki goes around the outside of Tapiri. Gets the ball away. It looks like a try. It looks like a try for David Solomona. Drew. Wagon up the middle. Wagons into a gap. There could be a try coming. There's going to be a try. Wagons over. Wagons in for Parramatta. It's just a war of attrition, isn't it? You take it forward, we'll take it forward, and we'll make some hard yards. Good ball for McKenna. Got past Fowler Wiener. Has Shafosky to beat. He gets it back to David Peachy. He'll score for the Sharks on his return. Dykes comes back to the play the ball area. McKenna stands there. Basketball's a pass back to the 5 8 again. He runs a long way before he loops a pass away to Peachy. Got it away himself, the Dykes, who kept coming. He got it back to Paul Mello. Oh, Adam Dykes, take the bow. You're a star. What a try he's laid on for the Sharks. Dykes 
get it first receiver. Little outside him. Peachy. Showed it a couple of times before Mellor got it. Good hands as well by Mostyn. Chips over the top. Dykes is there. Might score the try that wins the game for the Sharks. Scott Hill fires a pass from the scrum win away to Bell, who's in the space. He pushed away from the tackle as well. He's got support. Dyer is with him. Now he gets the ball. He passes on to Malala, who will score in the post. What a try for the Storm from the scrum win. We need sure hands and a good kick on the back of this set of six. Here's Peters into a huge hole. He's got Blacklock in support. Now he finds him. Moala is there. They recover the storm. He still pushes away from tackles, though. Looking for the line. He gives it away to Gaznia. He fires it now to Hooky. Who scores? Blacklock picked off on a good tackle by Perinara. And they'll play it at the halfway line. Peters kicks from the last tackle. By and Guy were both playing fairly shallow behind the defensive line. And now he links up with the fullback. He's got Aaron Newell outside him. Guy outpaces them. He's away. Wales can't go with him. There's nobody in front of Guy. And he's going to run 70 metres to score an incredible try. I never thought I'd see him in a jumper other than one of the. Oh, Anesta! Anesta! Well, that looks so simple. Medeiros, Gidley, Peden. Away they go again. Oh, who wants to bet here? That's right, a Tracy Gil Mansley. He's six to four on. He's, he, oh, he's, he's three's on. He's going to score. Again, the little fella. After their worst defeat at home in many years, it was clear just how much the Knights were missing Andrew Johns. The other stunning scoreline of that weekend came from Auckland, where the West Tigers claimed their first victory in over two months. At the opposite end of the scale, Parramatta's machine just kept rolling along, and they stretched their unbeaten run to 11 in round 17. Right in the middle, Marsh, Vela, Taylor, dummies inside, he'll get there, Taylor's in. Memorable night, this one, for Parramatta supporters, obviously. Jamie Lyon kicks. Here's Donald. Donald is flying. I think he's done it. Treaster's out there. Doing the dummy half roll. Here's a good ball from Dykes who finds McKenna. Backing up is Adam Dykes and they're back in front of the Sharks. Orford. Not a strong kick this time. Perhaps the worst of the game from him. And he finds Mostard, who runs around them. Nobody in front of him. Bell can't get a touch on him. Neither can Gaia. And Mostard will extend the lead for the Sharks. But it's been sensational work by the Sharks, working it off their own line. Treaster finds Graham as the Sharks were quick to tap it from their own 20. And now Campbell has got Mostard with him. Gets away from Gaia. Still going as the halfback. Luke's a pass to Adam Dykes. He finds Marston, who will score. Now on the last tackle on Darren said it. I don't think he realised at first. Well, if he did realise it was the last, the moment he did, he was under pressure. As Lottie Takiri starts running across field to link up with his other winger, Wendell Salem. Now he decides to clip on the speed. He got away from Nick Bradley Galilawa, throws his pass back on the inside, and Darren Lockie will simply stride away and score the easiest of tries. As well. Last tackle, Scott Prince throws a dummy and almost got through, still running and does well to get it back to Chris Walker. Walker still on the last, unloads a pass, picked up by Justin Hodges. Hodges has a bit of speed, heading for the corner, Justin Hodges and will score. So the difference between the two sides is the poor execution at the end of the sets of six for the West Tigers. Brad Myers, Myers running into open spaces, gets to Joel Kane, back inside to Harrison, he's got a fair bit of pace, Ashley Harrison, they won't get him in fact. Ball normally you would have expected him to get to on the full, but he just watched it bounce. And now here's Gaznia getting away from James. Will pass it back to Kieran Kerr, who on the boo will score under the post. Four players on the left hand side were screaming for the ball. Now that's where they go. Jones over the top. Blacklock has intercepted it. He scored try number 19 earlier this afternoon. He'll run the length of the field to score try for the season. Here's Luke Rickardson with the ice on that knee. 
This is Jamie Russo. What a run. Now Flannery inside Hegarty. They're in again, the Roosters. They've scored two tries in two minutes and they're back in front. Here's Ryan O'Hara. He's played solidly. There's Croker. Now the ball comes back to Monaghan. He's over the halfway. Schifowski on his inside. He throws the dummy. Fiddler chases. Clint Schifowski will get away from Fiddler and score the try. The Raiders, what about their courage? They've hit the lead. There's no one on the bench, but they don't care. They lead by two. What an incredibly courageous effort by the mighty Raiders. Despite having no one left on the bench for the entire second half and Jason Croker playing on with a serious knee injury, they still finished all over last year's grand finalists. There was also a fine recovery forged by the Bulldogs in Gosford when they came from 18-0 down to pick the Northern Eagles. But the best comeback of all in 2001 belonged to my old kangaroo offsider, Alan Langer, who was recalled from England by Wayne Bennett to inspire Queensland in this year's Origin Decider. The little champion was simply awesome as the Maroons dismantled New South Wales to win by 40 to 14 at ANZ Stadium. With the interstate battle decided, club footy was very much back in focus. And so too were the Melbourne Storm, who topped 60 at the start of round 18, which also featured Saints against Canberra in Rugby League's 10,000th Premiership game. And Danny Williams makes a break up the middle. Matt Roy. He hangs on to it as well. Back to Bradley Gallimard. And Gaia has it. And he will find Richie oh. Wayne. What a way to celebrate 100 games. Kane was there. He's now a dummy half. Here's Simon, grubbering, only one chaser, it was Jeffries, and here goes oh. Gaia, straight down the middle of the park. Luke O'Donnell won't be able to go with him, and Matt Gaia will make it number two for the night. <laughs> and stay tuned, there might be more to come. 15 out from his own line. They do have big run coming up the Melbourne Storm with those games. Newcastle, Brisbane and Parramatta. Here's a big run being made by Rorty. He'll give it back to Matty Gaia. It's one, it's two, it's three. Hat-trick time for the fullback. Says play on. Rudder. Cut out ball on Johns, finding Gidley. Inside for Johns. Johns is over. Andrew Johns is over. Or maybe he is at Marathon, the great man. Maybe God has come to Marathon. For Kennedy. Back for Rudder. Rudder for McDougall. They've isolated Sailor. And away it goes. To Hughes. Back on the inside. Rudder. Rudder's over. This is fantastic. This is unbelievable. Trent Barrett. Straight up the middle goes Darren Tracy, then away to Paul McGregor, inside again to Hooper. He'll just step his way through and score. Oh, good work by the Dragons. Final tackle coming up. Kicked ahead by Monaghan. Ball goes loose, picked up much more by Jamie Ainscoe. He draws tongue and sends it inside to McGregor. Back over the top to Ainscoe. Fingertip control. He's being chased. Darren Nutt won't have the speed and Jamie Ainscoe races away to score his second opportunist try in the matter of just about three minutes. Now from Roberts, then away to Barrett. Wide it goes to Kerr, then on to Gaznia. Gaznia sets his pass away to the flying Nathan Blacklock, who unselfishly gives it back to Mark Gaznia and he scores underneath the post. about 21 metres out from the line. Good opportunity here for the Sharks to mount some pressure. Graham. Now Peach inside Campbell. What about that ball? Preston under the black dot. Nine short of halfway. McKenna only just got there. Campbell now darting away from Fiend. Still going on the outside of Hannay. Leach comes. He misses him. O'Neill to beat. He's making him look ordinary and goes to the corner and scores the try. 
Preston Campbell, you're a magician. The Sharks got the cash there in one of the season's most spiteful games, while Parramatta suffered their first defeat in over three months at the hands of New Zealand, and the Northern Eagles marred Brad Fittler's 250th first grade match. But the main talking point that weekend surrounded South Sydney's emotional federal court victory. After two years of legal conflict, the Rabbitohs finally won reinstatement to the big league for 2002. On the field, there was another surprise comeback when Kevin Walters strapped on the boots again to help Brisbane's injury crisis. The rugby league returned to the Gold Coast in round 19. Most of the work will allow a TD. Darren Lockyer, Lockyer's racing through. He got away from Ryan Cooper, then inside for Chris Walker, and Walker's taken the ground, but still gets his pass away to Lottie Dekiri. It wasn't a really happy hunting ground for uh, for Brisbane when they played the Gold Coast when the uh, the Coast were in the competition. But here's a bust being made again by Ashley Harrison. Inside for Kevin Walters. Has he got the pace this time? He has. Put it down. In and as I say, they're starting to push it. Matt Orford then pushed a pass. A little bit of pressure on, on the man receiving the football. And uh, you can't afford to do that against the Knights. McDougal got on the outside of Bell. Loops a pass over the top to Mark Hughes. They've replied. Found his rhythm now. Here's Medeiros. No look pass for Bailey. He gets between them as well. Here they come again. He's got options. Kennedy is there. He'll score for the Knights as well. He's been playing at left centre since Mark Hughes left the field in the first half of the back injury. Leave him there, leave him there. Johns tracking across field. Looking to start something. He found Peden, who found a rudder. He got away from the Kearney tackle. Now it goes to Simpson. He's running like a winger himself. Feeds it to Darren Albert. Oh, put a step on Ben Rorty, which shook him out of his underpants, and he'll score behind the pace. Fletcher. Talented. Heggett, he's got speed. Burns outside him. Now Burn goes inside. Burn inside the 30-metre line. Heggett, he's back with it. Have they bombed it? No. The, the hands are up out of the right-hand side of the ground. Come to us. Come to us. Craig Wing doesn't need to. Wing goes over and scores. As they make a nice struggling effort, the dogs looking for points before half time. Trindle, Trindle's cross kick, and Astor's up there, and Astor has got the try. Another kick comes downfield from Monaghan. Hodson, well taken, running back over his shoulder. He's a class player. Dumbing the move, he's down the outside, almost away. Links up with Bialecki though. Here comes the chase, Shiposki across. He makes the tackle, Andrew Ryan. This is Jason Taylor, the very numbers the Raiders. The kick, Scott Donald's going to win the race. He's going to score a sensational try. What about the Sydney from Jason Taylor to Fred Hodgson started back on his own goal line. Three out from half time, they need to score. If there are any chance, a man lost it. Preston Campbell, Frank Gross. Great ball by Nathan Long under the post. We shouldn't be throwing passes like that, Steve Mortimer. What's he doing? With their seventh straight loss, the Panthers' season hit a new low as they found themselves vying for the wooden spoon along with North Queensland, who went down to West by two. The other significant outcome of that weekend was the one-off test between Australia and New Zealand in Wellington where the Kangaroos' class came to the fore yet again. Very quickly, Barrett was there as well. Barrett's looking for Lockyer on his inside. Lockyer goes for the pedal, races away. Oh, any amount of support. Take your pick, Darren. He doesn't take his pick. He puts it over the line himself and White. Meanwhile, the tries just kept coming in the NRL, and round 20 offered its fair share of high-scoring encounters. To Kalis. Step, he's got the defence in two minds, keeps it alive for Drew, knocked down by Taylor. Dribbles it out the back, it's still play on. Hohen marshes with it again, able to offload. And Jason Taylor's got away from Geyer. And again a looping pass out the left. Moody's having to look slow every time a pass comes his way. He's kept it alive. And Violecki will score for Parramatta. 
one of the others, maybe starting with this one tonight. They'll be there quarter finals. Ian Hindmarsh finds Donald. Donald 20 metres away from the line. Here comes another try. Hodgson in pursuit as Mill. Hodgson gets there. The promise of plenty more to come. And now Donald. Oh, lovely footwork from Donald. This is wonderful league from Parramatta. Deserves a try at the end of it. With it is Hindmarsh. He gets there. That's as good as it gets. Donald started it. Hindmarsh finishes it. Nathan Long will play it. And it comes from Ferris to Nick Graham. Offloads. Comes back to Ferris. Now to Preston Campbell. Tries to get on the outside of Cavalli. He went straight around him. Looking for options. He may not need one. They're coming to get him. He puts the kick in. Colin Best is flying. He has amazing speed. And might have scored for the Sharks. What a start. There were some speedsters there for the Eagles. It'll be a real race between them and Campbell. Speaking of speedsters, here's one. Peachy towing it off the Graham kick. Picks it up. Dumps it backwards for Brent Rose. They're in again. Well, I think it took one the... The Penrith Panthers are a little bit by surprise and they go nice and white and the defenders on the Roosters. As Gurley gets away, Rooney. Rooney steps out of the tackle of Minicello. Phillips to beat. Across comes the fullback. He's got too much pace. Ankle tap. Roll away a try. Luke Rooney has scored the try. 12 metres out from the line. Now Scotty Sattler throwing the dummy Domic off his shoulder. There was a gap. What about the take from Ben Reynolds? He's over under the post and the Roosters can see their season sliding out the window. Clinton Torp is one player. I believe if you watch the video of him, you couldn't work out how he plays. You see another long ball out to Mad Dog. He's liable to do anything. Oh, he's liable to bust him up. Look at him go. The Mad Dog has cut loose. He's flying down that eastern touch line and he'll get a double. McDougal brings it around and the Knights get their second four-pointer. Bailey playing it back, Badiris gives it on to Sean Rudder. Now to McDougal, there goes the kick from the Mad Dog. This will bounce, who's going to get the bounce? The Knights will get the bounce. Mad Dog looking for a hat-trick and he will get it. While Newcastle did enough to overcome the plucky Warriors, round 20 still contained its fair share of upsets. With Penrith claiming their first win for over two months, North Queensland rubbing the Dragons and the Bulldogs toppling Brisbane at ANZ Stadium. In late July, it was a happy 21st round for Jason Taylor, who surpassed Daryl Halligan as the league's greatest ever point scorer. And Luke Rickardson, who became only the second man in Eastern Suburbs' proud 94-year history, the clock 200 first-grade game. He is just to the left-hand side of the uprights. And Benetti keeps them going to the right with Fitler. He's running a plenty here, Brad Fitler. Rickardson has popped the ball up for Singh. Singh gets in goal. And for Graham. Getting along for Dykes, flat pass for Peachy. Here they go, the Sharks. 20 metres out from the line. Peachy links up, and here is the tie to Miller. 25 metres out. See you, see you. Oh, he's gone straight through. Big Jerry with the pass. Great pick up, and a try to Mark Turkey. He has the golden touch. And back with Orford again, trying that little kick. Wonderful skills from Matt Orford. 20 metres out from the line, he will go all the way. They turned around, and Matt Orford went straight down the highway to score. Swain back away with Orford. And that pass from Lordy for Orford. Confronted by three or four defenders, decides to link up with Robinson. Then back for Gaia, wrapping around was Robbie Ross. Then away for Kearney, then away for Mool. 10 metres out from the line, Marcus Boy goes over in the corner. Brittis with Kevin Walters. The Lockyer, and now they're moving on the outside. Walker's around his man. He's away from Moala. Look at the speed of Walker. Links up with Lottie Takiri. He makes a beeline for the goalposts and scores for Brisbane. I'll tell you what, they'll sit this up for Jason Taylor to try and score the first try. They go wide once again on the right side. Now away to Hodgson. Hodgson trying to get his way through. The Well, the game in Australia spans oh. some 93 years from the legendary Daly Messenger to a long list of time-honored names right up to the modern-day superboot Daryl Halligan. But this unassuming little man, Jason Taylor, 
is now the greatest Australian rugby league point scorer of them all. A magnificent achievement for the uh, the Cowboys' left hand side defence. Was instrumental in setting Scott Donald up for his couple of tries. Lovely pass away to Michael Butner. Butner kicks ahead and tries to chase himself. He should get the bounce. He does. Oh, great try! Terrific way to celebrate his 100th first grade game for this club. JT wasn't the only Super Boot to shine on that noteworthy weekend, as Andrew John set a new club point scoring record with four tries and nine goals against the Raiders and the Kiwis had no problems coming up with tries against the high-flying Bulldogs either. St George Illawarra returned to the winner's circle by dismissing Penrith, but a far greater challenge awaited to stop an Eels outfit that had just amassed 166 points in its previous three games. Drew again. Newton's inside it. Yeah, Drew! Drew is going through the 20-metre line. The kick is on, on again. Jamie Lyon puts out a head. Ryan again. Well, they can do anything when they want to. Drew has put Taylor through a gap. Taylor floats the ball. Jamie Lyon, Jamie Lyon scores his second try. That is wonderful. Wonderful rugby league. And now Parramatta. They've made this big break with Nathan Hindmarsh. He's got ten to go. He'll make it. Nathan scores! Lang cut out to Graham. Now Rogers stepping, weaving back in. Back to Graham. They've got numbers on the left. Can Graham get rid of it? He does. Back on the inside. Elite Stewart. Can he reach out? He does on the line. It's a try. The siren's going to go any second. Now it comes to Grief. Grief, the ball back to Tahu. Johns over his head. Back to Kennedy. Here's a chance. Rodder. Rodder's got Gidley on his outside. He's going try well that is amazing Andrew Johns he just threw the ball wasn't even looking Hampstead's awarded a try Andrew Johns just threw it back over his head Simpson back on the field over the top Darks with that little chip and kick over the top players colliding everywhere oh Peachy Romeo Davis didn't see him and David Peachy salutes the crowd and the Sharks have got another four pointer Freestar, up to Graham, here's quick hands, Dykes Campbell, away from Tamana Tahu, over the halfway, Peachy on the inside, what about that, David Peachy has scored two tries in two minutes, and is that the ball game, he nearly ran into Botany Bay. Back across field with Kevin Walters, skips out Myers with his pass, and Burns keeps it going along for Wendell, who had to come to a complete stop to take the pass. And now let's try back to the left is pretty much the message from Brisbane. Kelly, some quick hands. Lock your away for Takiri. Ten minutes out from the line. No one's going to stop him. He gets in goal away to Kiri, but he too may have been held up in goal. Harrigan says try. Ten metres away from the Brisbane line. Crocker back in field with Hood. Keeps it going to the left with Bittler. Bittler's got them held up. Here's an overlap, and here comes a try. And Hegarty had Flannery unmarked on his outside. Thank you. Too many sides can really depend close oh, to your own line. Tony makes a good bust. Tony has Stacey Jones on his inside. Back to Jones. He's being chased by Steve Carter, who can't get him. And Stacey Jones in to score. Stacey Jones directing traffic. Has the ball in his hands now. Alex the rattle on the last. Stacey Jones. And let's go through. Little grab a kick. Will he get it back? Oh, will he ever? Clinton Torpy back across field now unloads for Campion then away to Tukey Tukey floats a pass out wide for Irangi Kupu he's got Melly on his outside inside the Melly brilliant pick up by the winger he might get through gets a pass back inside to Lawatini how did he get that away Stacey Jones in commanding form, the Warriors were heading for their first ever finals appearance. However, Melbourne's prospects weren't so bright after they went down to the Northern Eagles. As expected, the Bulldogs proved too strong for the West Tigers and that ensured a huge battle between the top two sides at the head of round 23. 
just like the good old days. Yeah, great pick up and uh, run there by Jamie Lyon. Took the pressure right off the Parramatta side. Now Hindmarsh goes through. Hindmarsh is in the clear. Petra's after him. Hindmarsh has got plenty of pace. He's going to make it. Hindmarsh nails it for Parramatta. Centre of the ground for Britt. Now for Reardon. Flicks it out the back. It's got away for the dogs to kick. And Martini gets it over the line. Martini scores. Got a ball back on the inside, scooped up by Trindle, given away for a Nasta. A Nasta a one-hander away. Bialecki's away. Bialecki's on his way. Vangunar chases, but Bialecki seals the game. How a matter of won it. Jones running the football. Here's trouble. Got it back to Guttenbeel. Beat them with the step. Looking to get past Rogers, got it back to David Miles, and the former Sharky gets the opening try. Just as well too, big man on small man, Campion across to Corpu, and he's over. Soft defence. Win a dummy half to run up. Ball on the outside to McDougal. Lovely pass for Tahu. Craigie can't put it with him. Kane coming across, but he slips a lovely ball to Kennedy. Jeffries with the hands of Galea to Craigie into another hole. Here they come again, the Tigers. Galea back on the inside. Now it's a race between Galea and Albert. Galea gets there. Did he get the ball down? Yes, he did. Change the dummy half. It comes to Jeffries. They've bombed the last two times. They grab it this time. McGuinness is there. Playing at half back in jumper number 13. Thompson for Barrett. Barrett gets the pass away for Gaznia to ground for Blacklock. Scooped off the ground for Barrett. Floated across for Hooper. Again to the 20 metre line. They're away. Andrew Hart. Andrew Hart. He has scored. They kept it alive. They kept it alive. Don't know that that's a good idea. Brisbane have got Casey Maguire on. They've made a clean break. They should go all the way. Ainsco is not making any impression. Stuart Kelly. Stuart Kelly makes a 60 metre run. Now Ward, then Hooper, Barrett, floating pass, second bounce, Andrew Hart, Jamie Ainsco, couple of good wingers over there, matching motors to Kieran and Ainsco. Ball alive. And here's Hooper! 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 Gets it away! Picked up by the Dragons! On the ground they get it away! Wing. Comes the Fiddler. Chipping over the top. Looking for Minicello, who got a great bounce as well. Away from Robbie Ross, and the Roosters have replied. Here's Witters. Lovely ball around the corner to Fiddler. He only has Robbie Ross to beat. Put the step on him. Stepped him out of his underpants to score underneath the black dots. A football over one of Manly's favourite sons, Jeff Toovey, said farewell to his adoring local fans after North Queensland held the Northern Eagles to a 24-all draw. And in Canberra, the Raiders went down to Penrith in another nail-biter. That weekend will always be remembered for the West Tigers' incredible comeback against Newcastle. At different stages, they trailed 24-0 and 32-12, yet somehow ended up winning. Knights boss Michael Hagan read the riot act in his troops after that collapse, but they obviously failed to listen. At the back end of the first half, through from Hooper, out for Barrett, Barrett, goes around, he finds Blacklock, Blacklock puts the, the foot down, Ainsco for the corner, Blacklock, hey, Roberts, Roberts has got the ball on a reverse pass, put it down. Hornby, Barrett, Hooper, beautifully picked up. Roberts! Roberts has got players everywhere! Doesn't need any of them! Little in the way! Flirts with the dead ball line! Puts it down! Last tackle, they work the blind. Campion, quick hands, they score in the corner! We are moving up very quickly and I guess that's one of the things they would have talked about at half time. Graham Murray would have said to the Rooster players, you need to get up off the line. away, hang on to it, he gives it back to James! Brilliant! Just brilliant! Stacey James delivers! Pierce.
McKenna. Back on the ground again for Pierce. Stevens tramples over the top of Myers. Goes back for Nathan Long. Long runs through the wreckage left by Stevens. Campbell! 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 Preston! Preston! Campbell is in behind the upright. Stuart Kelly just outside the 40 metre line as they find Lockyer now. Puts on a little sprint. Then he puts Walker through a gap. Shut the gate. It's too late to shut the gate. Don't worry about it. Walker's put the ball down. And tackled five away. The last now, they've got to come up with a clever play. Get a result somehow. Campbell floats it away. Dykes for McKenna. McKenna for Gross. Gross, it's gone away. They're over. McKenna. McKenna has scored. That is an incredibly gifted try. Full of talent. Full of creation. McKenna has scored. Swain goes into acting house. Slow play the ball though. Russell Bowden, Orford, Hill, cut out ball, Dyer, Bell must score. Finally the weight of possession is told and the Melbourne Storm are in through Stephen Bell. So the Melbourne Storm may have got that close to staying alive. Here's a chance. Oh, wouldn't this be painful? They're going to score through Matthew Reek. Well, from one end of the field to the other. Last tackle, eight metres out. They go left. Orford, cut out ball. Here's a chance. Texas will be his owner. Did he get the ball down? Stephen Clark looks for the touchdown and this is a try. So the storm was still alive in 2001 after that unconvincing defeat of the Penny Panthers, but only just. In other games, Parramatta overcame the Tigers, Canberra lost their second straight match at home, and the Bulldogs outclassed North Queensland. Semi-final football seemed to start early for the Blue and Whites, when the Sharks came to the showgrounds in the penultimate home and away round. Long on tackle five, centre of the ground, just inside the 20 metre line. To the left they go, Dykes. On the inside, Peachy. Peachy will make it. Well, how simple was that? It might come back to not only hurt them, but haunt them. Polamata uses Price. Price inside the 10. Polamata's with him. Polamata dives. Polamata's over. It is a try for Craig Polamata. As the dogs now go to the 20 metre line, they resort to the air. El Nasri's got the ball. Couldn't get it down. It didn't go into touch. It's back and with Darren Smith. And Smith tries to get it away. He does eventually. Picked up by Luke Patton. He knows what's got to happen. It's going to Hugh. He goes back to the 20. Gets a kick away. Taken by Anasta. Anasta for Talal. Talal's over. That is just, that is just a miracle. Short side with Hobawati. Standing, looking to offload. And now he's going to be frog marched backwards. Put the ball away to Walker though. And now Kamali. Bill Bailey has it. Torrens got past the defence of Violecki. Ball back on the inside to Reed and then Menzies, who will have the pace to score for the Eagles. Straight to the bench, he goes. Here's Irvine. Now working the plays from Dummy Hart. Violecki, free running on the outside of Torrens, got away from him. Pushed away from Walker as well. He won't be able to pick him up. Great piece of play from Violecki. Back to Drew. Nathan Taylor, midfield. Goes to brother Jason through the hands of Marsh. Picked up by Violecki. Goes back to Nathan Hindmarsh. Looking for the knockout blow here perhaps. And Violecki will get it. Benetti for Robs. Working left with Fletcher. Inside ball for Fittler. Fittler will get there for the Roosters. Well, what a start to this game. Then said, I want the football back and got it. And now Blacklock is away down the left for Roberts. Phillips is very deep at fullback. Roberts will set up his support. It's Tracy away. How quickly things can turn. 30 away from the Dragons line. Hegarty. They get started again with Witters and Fittler. And he just sets himself for another bomb. This one is deep. It's going to come down almost on the crossbar. It comes off the crossbar. Fletcher passes for Flannery. Flannery scores. 10 metres out from the line. In fact, that's Dakiri in there. So there's no one out on the wing. They've got numbers. Here's the ball. They're over the Canberra Raiders. They have to be absolutely 
stunned at the moment. They've got to regroup tongue. Now McFadden. Here's a chance up the middle of the ruck. Inside ball and scooting away. Rod Jensen has scored. Wendell Saylor's forgettable farewell to ANZ Stadium was in stark contrast to that of his old sparring partner Steve Carter, who bagged two tries in his last appearance at Penrith Stadium. But the biggest smiles from that weekend came from across the Tasman after the Warriors draw with Melbourne. That single competition point was enough to guarantee their first ever finals berth. So with one round remaining, the top eight had been declared. All that remained was confirmation of the exact order. Amos Roberts, he's away again. Amos Roberts has got support on his outside. The Dragons with Barrett, he's inside the 20. Patton is chasing, he gets there. Trent Barrett. Oh. Oh, with Glenn Hughes and then Darren Smith and now with Trindle. Trindle is through. Daryl Trindle inside the 20 metre zone with plenty of support. Don't worry about the break because Nigel Vanganar has got his hat trick. What a most eventful first two minutes of this game. Great ball. Here's a chance. Hughes quick hands McDougal. Here's the support. Rudder straight through under the post. What a try for the Newcastle Knights. What will they do here? Here comes Rodwell now. Kicking back off the side of the boot straight to McDougal. The kick there was Matthew Reed, Paul Reed, but McDougal was back there. Now Kennedy returning the football away from Cross, up to the halfway line. Great ball to Robbie O'Davis, and the Knights have gone 80 metres, and O'Davis has got a double. We've only had 21 and a half, and there's the somersault for the try. Good opportunity now to, to put a little bit of responsibility onto some of these other guys. Here's Robbie O'Davis throwing dummies. Now John's out the back to Rudder. Here's Gidley. Another chance for the Knights. Tahu on his outside. They're lining up on the inside, so he kicks. McDougal will get a hat trick if the bounce is good. It is. He's got himself a hat trick. Well have done. Here's Burns. Playing it back. It comes to Ryan. Now Berrigan. Here's Lockie. A lovely pass running into a beautiful hole. Inside the final 60 seconds. Here's Harrison. Ball wide to Kelly, he puts it on the toe. Sale is there, he will score a very easy try to finish it off. Stay in there, Ben. Ben, stay there. Campbell with the feed. He works it to Peachy. He runs across, bypasses McKenna to give it to Mellor. He got the arm around the back. Rogers back to Peachy and the Sharks are in. I'm that sort of guy. And we haven't seen too much of it this afternoon. Here's Rogers though, supplying some. He's got Peachy with him. Oh, he ducked under Corfusi's tackle. He'll scamper to the line as well. Kane will come late, but they won't stop him. Lovely piece of play from Rogers. With their speed and passing out wide. And well, Gus, I for one, are salivating about these finals that are coming up. This is just an example of them today. This is high oh. quality. Butner is away. Now he can test the old legs on the run. They're not going to get close to Michael Butner. That is a 90-metre tie to Parramatta. The minor premiers. What a four-pointer. With skills like that, it wasn't hard to see why the Eels were pretty hot favourites to take out their first title in 15 years after losing just four of their 20.